Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about short putts. I just hit a nice approach shot into the green, repaired my ball mark, and I've got three and a half feet left. So whether it's for par, birdie, bogey, doesn't matter. How do we get this ball in the hole? Now we establish first and foremost, there's going to be a little bit of break in here. My fall line is right here. This is the straight downhill putt. And I've got just a little bit of a break here. So what I see happening, here's the center of the hole. I see the ball entering just a little right of center there. And when I see, what I, what I mean by that is before I make my stroke, I have to see the ball roll in. Here you are, you're sitting over the putt and you've got an important putt to make and you're just looking at the hole, but you don't actually see the ball roll over the edge and into the hole. Sounds really nuts, doesn't that? But to your brain, your brain sees a hole and then it says, okay, what do you want to do with that? Until you tell it that you want to see the ball roll in, the brain goes, okay, so there's a hole. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to play putting stroke or do you want to play roll the ball into the hole? You tell me. Well, I can see that you're undecided right now. You're looking at the hole, but you don't see the ball roll in. I'm getting really tense right now. I don't want to miss this putt. But I still haven't told my brain I want to roll the ball in the hole. Can you see now why some of you have the yips? Now, it's very important that once you set up, and you match your setup to the picture. So number one, my picture is the ball rolling in the hole at, six, at 5.30, just before six o'clock. Does this setup match the picture? I feel that my arm and putter unit is hanging from my shoulders. This is hanging from the shoulders. This is not. This is still not. This is. So everything's hanging from my shoulders. So now I feel that my setup matches that picture. Hey, it's all out of my control now. So now see the ball roll in at 5.30. And I'm just going to make a rhythm now. See it roll in. Bing, bong. Now that felt interference free. My eyes are still here. I don't even feel the need to look at the hole once I make my rhythm because I've already seen the ball roll in. And you notice how that ball went into the hole because that's what I told my brain I wanted to see. For those of you who are hoping not to miss and trying to make a good putting stroke, well, how do you know that putting stroke matches the ball rolling into the hole when you haven't seen that in the first place? Do you see how insane that is? All right, so make sure of one thing. Do like Jack said, I never missed a putt in my mind, which means you establish how the ball is going to roll into the hole. See my read my putt, read your putts right video. So I establish how the ball is supposed to roll in. I see the ball roll in. Then I match my setup to that picture. Then once the setup matches the picture, I recall the picture one more time and let it happen. It's out of my control now. I just let momentum put it in the hole. Okay. So a good drill for you is you set up at two feet with a few golf balls around the hole. Say, okay, I want to see the ball roll in the center of this hole. This is a straight uphill putt. Does this setup match the picture? Yes, it does. So if I let momentum do its job and just swing back and through, let it swing back and through, it should roll in the center of the hole. There it is, roll in. Let momentum put it in the hole. So did I feel that momentum did all the work and did I feel that it was interference free? Yes, all right. So now you take it a little bit further. So go from a two foot circle to a three foot circle and do it all around the hole. This one's gonna break. So I want just a little right of, this is gonna be five o'clock. Does that set up match the picture of the ball rolling in at five? Yes, it does. See the ball rolling at five, make a rhythm. Let it go. Don't try to control it. Oh, that was a good putt. I knew it. Then you take it on this side. Take it to three feet, four feet, five feet, and six feet. So anything inside six feet, 
you feel that you can you can knock in any given time once you got your confidence now you can take it to your chipping and your pitching and your bunker shots and anything anything inside six feet you're going to make okay so enjoy that that's a really really important one i know it's going to help many of you who are competitive players because i know a lot of you are still hoping and fearing and you better stop that see the ball roll in let momentum and, and do it interference free, feel that it's out of your control. It goes in, it goes in. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Move on.